two going in or what? Well, if things work according to plan... <clears throat> Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine! Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did.
Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Huh, who's the Guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Baldur! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But... Why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
father. No. We do it together. Son. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. She want to end up here, be with her kind. But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no, he was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, Yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow! You actually told a good story. We missed it! if you want to go home but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here too i mean what would atreus of sparta do and what would loki do huh. that's a weird name i'm glad we went with yours
glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you might realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Balder has become something else. Stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, time for the omens. Ragnarok. Snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my scrot. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end time. How dare you make me the voice of these guys? Just discussing the weather. A bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Thimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my soul. Yeah. We, we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving. And also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Sure, that'll keep you out of trouble.
You hitting the road or chewing the fat? Atreus, here. Yes, father. Still can't believe he ate it. So what was it like when Odin and Freya got married? For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. But the peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly... Despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. Uh, is it a good idea coming back here? She's probably in there planning your demise, brother. Or bringing Balder back to life. Like she did you, Mimir. Oh, I'm not alive, lad. I'm reanimated, sure. But make no mistake, I'm still quite dead. I'll never be what I once was. She won't want this for her son. <laughs> That's a relief. Not the part about you being dead, but, you know.
nice. It feels like... like a prison. That would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. But it's more than that. I have this feeling. Like something is waiting for us down here. You've a knack for ominous statements, lad. What kind of something? I'm not sure. Something powerful. Whatever you feel, boy. We will handle it. We have come this far, yes? Yes, father. Valkyrie? Imprisoned? She actually did it. A Valkyrie? But I thought they were just spirits. Take caution, lads. A Valkyrie in the flesh. I can't think of a more formidable opponent. She does not attack. Does she even know we're here? Yeah! 
stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Amir, what else did the serpent tell you when you spoke? Kinda sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Oh, I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. 